Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're having a great week. This is the Hawaii Urban Gardener showing you how to garden in small spaces and in the city urban life. Um, today's topic is going to be about vacation watering and while you're away or if you're at work for a long time and you're just worried about your plants, especially during the summer heat. So I'm going to show you some items that you can make at home yourself, some items you can buy that are cheap, and then also use some items at home, such as bottles and such, to use with it, and some more expensive items, but not out of the reasonable range to buy uh, that are more electronic that can water your plants while you're away. So we're going to go on a two-week vacation, um, and we're not going to be here. I don't like to bother anybody to come over here to water the plants, and I'm sure you don't either. It's really hard to find somebody to come almost every day to water your plants or every other day even because you feel like it's a burden or you're bothering them. So the plants outside should be okay because I have a neighbor that constantly waters her garden and it's right next door. So she said she'd drag the hose over and water the tomatoes that are outside that I did for that fertilizer experiment. Um, for the ones inside in the smaller pots, I'm going to use certain methods to water them and show you how it works and then when we come back hopefully i can show you the results hopefully it doesn't fail and none of my plants die uh, but let's get to it and i'll show you all the items that you can use first off i'm going to start with the simplest method and the cheapest what i've got here is a water bottle it's just a water bottle put two sticks together those little bamboo skewers or stakes that you use for smaller plants um, and I just taped it with shipping tape. You can use duct tape if you want, but any strong tape will do. And uh, you could even hot glue them on, however, whatever works for you. And you cut the top. I should have cut it the other way, but it still works like that. And it's good to refill water and you do need to either cut or make holes because you need air to get in there so it can drip down otherwise it's just going to stay in the bottle and i've got a little water here and you just pour it in fill it up and you're going to untwist it of course it's going to be tightened all the way but i untwisted it very gently that way you can get a nice slow drip I'm not sure if you can see that drip, but it's dripping very slowly. And I want it to be that way. I don't want it dripping too fast. Otherwise this whole thing's just gonna drain. Um, and that defeats the purpose of watering your plant for a period of time. I actually use this little bottle. It's a 500 milliliter or 16.9 fluid ounce and let it slow drip like this when we went on a three day trip and it was still more than halfway full and the plant was still alive. It just needs to, it's just a slow drip irrigation so it'll work uh, for your plants as long as it's not like a huge plant. But this was in my cabbage that I ha harvested that I showed you. I also use this on my wanbok and I used it on my pepper plants. They all survived, they weren't wilting or anything like that. So it was great and actually I timed it. One of them lasted almost a week. I think it lasted six days. Almost made it to day seven, but not quite. Easy to refill and um, you're reusing and recycling things and it's cheap and simple. Another system would be these old-fashioned bulbs where you would put water in here. Sorry, it's dirty because I put it in the dirt and you stick it in the dirt and it would slowly release the water. I don't like these. These might be good for a day or two but we went on a three day camping trip and it was already empty. So if it's any more than three days, these things aren't that good. I also have a bigger size cause this came in a pack and they didn't last very long either. It just sucks the water so fast into the soil. And if you're gonna be away for a while, it's not gonna work. I also tried these where you, um, obviously this is old with gross water, but this comes on Amazon, you can find them. You're supposed to twist this to let it drip at your own desired pace. It could be dripping really fast or really slow. And it's supposed to screw on any water bottle or soda bottle. I found that it didn't really work as well 
either. The screws here are too sensitive and it would drip so fast no matter how tight I made it. It was either it was totally shut off or it would just start dripping really fast. And you're supposed to get a water bottle and cut the top off and you could refill it fast enough. You can't not cut it or put holes in it because it needs some type of air to suction the water down. Otherwise, it's just going to stay in the bottle. Um, but it did last for about a day or two, but also it drained way too fast and kind of overwatered the plants. So this is a blue mat. It has a siphon tube and it's connected to something similar to an olla, which is a clay-like pot. So this part that I'm touching that's kind of peachy or tan is a kind of clay material. You stick this end into the soil and it's supposed to drip out some water. This is what it looks like out of the box. This is the clay material and you stick this into the soil and up here this plastic is a reservoir and it's connected to this tube and that white little part here you stick this tube in a container of your choice of water the bigger the, the container the longer it's going to last it's going to suck it through this tube into the reservoir and it's slowly going to come out of this clay area to moisten the soil so I took the cap off the cap has the tube and the cover and that's what the reservoir looks like and it's going to hold the water that it sucks up and every time the reservoir goes down it'll suck some more up so pretty simple device and it's been pretty uh, reliable so far I'll show you how it works on some of my plants so this is the blue mat system um, you get the same type of siphon like that that I showed you put it in your container so I'm using some old gallon milk jugs I've had this going for about a week I've tried this for uh, three weeks now so two weeks actually lasted for uh, two plants and I'm sorry for one plant this one went a little faster as you can see the water level is lower than this one but I've got two in one container so you can put multiple ones in containers but if you want you know, the water to last, if you're on a trip, you can just collect a bunch of jugs and just put one in each. But I've got it here, stuck in this uh, basil plant, and some in these zinnias. They've got some buds forming. There's the blue mat, and one in this big pot for the okra. And that's doing pretty well as well. Although, I think if you have a plant that really is thirsty, maybe like a tomato, you might want to have it have its own container. I'm sharing this with the basil and the reason is I think it's not as thirsty of a plant because okra likes hot weather. But it's doing well. I haven't watered it besides the blue mat because I'm trying to test it out before I go on vacation then be last minute about it and see that it doesn't work but we've got some buds forming for some more okra, so it's doing well. So I really actually like the blue mat as well. No plugs, no nothing, and you just get a container, a jug of water, and you're set. So this one is empty and looks gross because we've been using it for a while. Same thing on our camping trip. We use this attachment, which is also something you could make on your own, but it also screws onto any bottle of your choice. So this is a Dr. Pepper bottle. Um, and it's got a little, I can pull it out, thing here where you can fill it up and then you're gonna just turn it over. You don't have to cut the top or anything. And then uh, this goes down, screws down into the soil. And I'm not sure if you can see these. These are getting algae uh, ridden because it's been in here so long, but it still works. The, this uh, string wicks the water through here, sucks it down slowly. You're supposed to bury um, the string that's also attached to some fabric to wick it some more under your soil. So, you know, you can probably make that yourself. There's other videos out there where you can get a container and put a bunch of um, 
shoestrings or some kind of fabric that's going to soak up the water but not evaporate too fast and it's just going to naturally wick the water and drip down into your soil so you can find something like that of your choice or make it yourself same thing though this doesn't last that long for our vacation um, this one probably lasted about four days or so not up to a week so for short vacations that's fine all right i'm gonna save the best for last this is the moisten land irrigation system for people that travel or can't take care of their plants every day and i invested some money in it it was about 35 dollars at the time on amazon bought it a couple months ago and tested it when it first came out of the box just to make sure in case i had to return it it did work it does work off a USB plug, so if you want to and you don't trust it, you can plug it in. But my plug is way too far away and I'm just worried that it might cause a fire. I don't need an extension cord or the rain to short circuit it. So this also runs off of batteries. So it needs four A batteries, so I just put it in. It should last for the two weeks, I think. If not, oh well. But basically it's um, pretty easy. You can set your watering time. I'm not sure if you can see that. So these are by seconds. I put 15 seconds. You can make it longer. Um, you can do it once a day. This is the number for the days. So you can water it twice a day, three times a day. I think I'll just do it once a day, but I think I'm going to make it 20 seconds of watering. And let's try this. Um, I did try it, but I forgot. I think if you press the M, it'll... Um, yeah, there we go. I'm not sure. You put one tube in here and you can see, I'm not sure, it's feeding it. And you can keep making tubes and I'm not sure. It's only 20 seconds, but it's dripping. So it'll drip for 20 seconds or however many seconds you want. And you just, it comes with these tubes and the little things you poke in to make the irrigation system, which is awesome. And I have it going all the way around. I put all my plants close together that need the irrigation system. And this one's the last one, the pepper plant. It's not focusing, but that one you don't need one of the connectors. So there it goes. And as you can see, it automatically stops. And then it's supposed to go off again at the same time uh, every day. Or if you're doing it twice a day, it'll do it twice a day and such. Uh, you can read the directions if you get it. It's pretty simple and it has two tubes that connect here and it comes with a little clip where you can clip it onto a five gallon bucket or whatever um, bucket of your choice or container. So this is the in. So it gives you that little thing that sucks it up but I didn't find it heavy enough. It would start to float so I rubber band the other thing that came with it. It's like an air stone just to make it sink to the bottom so that way it doesn't float up and doesn't reach the water. And I'm gonna fill this whole bucket up. I wasn't sure how much to fill it because I didn't want it to touch the electronics. My plan is to put a garbage bag over this so if it does rain, it won't you know, short circuit this. And I think it should be fine and last for the two weeks. And yeah, like I said, the tubing and everything, the little connectors come with it and I had more than enough and the little irrigation uh, stakes as well. And there is another model that has a digital option where it has better uh, little digits and all that, but I don't think I needed that. This is good enough. It doesn't have to be fancy as long as it works. And hopefully that's helpful for you. Maybe you can make a decision on what you need to get to water your plants if you don't want to bother anybody else to water them while you're on vacation. One more thing, also I want to stress, I have seen reviews on Amazon saying that they were upset that this system drowned their plants. That is because of the laws of physics. Um, it's common sense that you wouldn't put this bucket up here on these steps or any higher than these pots. If you put this up on a container higher than any of these pots that you're watering, it will just keep siphoning it down and the machine, even if it stops it, it's not going to stop because of the laws of physics. It's just going to keep siphoning because it's above 
the plant. So always keep your buckets or whatever containers you're going to use to be your water source at level or below your plants. Uh, you want to keep it level, not so much below, because if you make it below, it's going to take more energy to suck it up. But just keep it, you know, right next to your pot and you should be safe and it won't drown your plants and keep siphoning everything. So I hope those um, things I showed were helpful ideas. There are lots of ideas out there on YouTube, such as using a milk jug and poking it with a needle and filling it up with water and it slow drips. I've done that as well and it did last for our camping trip. That was only three days though, but actually when we came back, the milk jug was totally empty. So that didn't last very long. So if it's a long trip, I would suggest something like the Moistureland uh, electronic irrigation system or the um, water bottle slow drip irrigation that you can make at home with your recycled water bottles. The blue mat is also great because like I said, it lasted for two weeks. Uh, I tested it at home before we're going to leave because I don't want anything to fail. And those were kind of expensive, but at least they give you three in one packet and you can water three plants with them. So I'll see you again, probably not next week because we'll be on vacation. Uh, probably in two weeks I'll see you and thank you for watching. I really appreciate everybody that's been watching and leaving really nice comments and press the like button if you like this video, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you again. God bless and peace out.